All right, Angela, we'll check back in. And today, Marion County Prosecutor Ryan Mears spoke out against this weekend's violence, blaming it in part on our state's new permitless carry law. And he made those statements without any clear evidence to support blaming the law. So our 13 Investigates reporter Sarah Putman sat down with Prosecutor Mears today to find out what evidence he was using to back those claims. Oh, I think Prosecutor Ryan Mears says important. simple arguments are resulting in more gun violence. It was otherwise normal people in our community uh, who just got into simple disputes over simple things and someone ended up getting shot. After a violent weekend, his office sent out this statement saying in part, quote, we forewarned the consequences that would come from having more guns on our streets as a result of the permitless carry legislation. And we are witnessing the ramifications of that action on a far too frequent basis, end quote. But police were reporting more disputes relating to gun violence before constitutional carry law was went into effect on July 1st. Why are you now trying to say that this might also be linked to the new permitless carry law? Well, our concern is everybody's armed, and I think that gives uh, people some unfounded confidence when they're having disagreements with individuals. As of now, state police say it does not have evidence to show the law's impact on violence. IMPD tells me it also cannot say if the law has led to more or less violence. We do know that IMPD reports homicides and non-fatal shootings are down. Of course, constitutional carry wasn't in effect until about two months ago. If you just look at July and August, homicides are are still down year after year. It hasn't even been 60 days yet. Uh, and, and so, you know, if you're looking for empirical data, uh, certainly it's going to take a little bit more time to develop that in empirical data because it hasn't been that long. Even somebody, I think, who might agree with that belief might say this statement can't actually be proven at this point. Well, I think what we can prove is we are seeing more violence over confrontations. We let you know that Mears is running for re-election, running as a Democrat. He does have a Republican challenger. Her name is Cindy Carrasco. She also issued a statement about violence in our city, and it reads here in part for you. The increase in violence in our city is a direct result of our prosecutor's failure to hold criminals accountable and his continued use of sweetheart plea deals that puts violent repeat offenders back out on our streets.